great day. Y'all, I just had to share this word with y'all real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because your girl that made it to, to the office. I wouldn't dare drive trying to get this message. But the song by Big Boogie, Thuggin, has had me in a chokehold, right? So I'm like, God, why this song got me in a chokehold like this? I'm talking about y'all. I got it on repeat. I mean, it's just playing back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I start playing it when I left the house. Got uh, like right here at the office. And I'm like, now I'm still playing this song. Like, what is going on? What is, what's going on? So I go and I look at the lyrics to the song. And Big Boogie said, I had a bitch that was popular. That shit was all cool. Or oh, did he say that? Hold on. Okay, my bad, y'all. My video cut. I was trying to go uh, to the lyrics, but so I could make sure I got the words right, but I'm just going to do it off of my remembrance of what I just heard a few minutes ago. But in the song, what stuck out to me was a part that resonated in my spirit. Because let me tell you something about God. He will speak to us he, he will meet you where you at. If you don't listen to, to Mary Mary every day, that's okay. That's okay. If, if you listening to somebody else every single day, he's just going to start speaking through that person. Simple. That's it. it. It's that simple. God will meet you where you at. Seriously. So for me, I don't always listen to gospel music like, it don't always put me in that vibe. You know what I'm saying? In that energy that I need to be in. But that boogie though. <laughs> Y'all don't get me started. But yeah, so. He's pretty much saying like he had a female that he was dealing with in high school. That was spoiled. Had all the shoes, all the truths. And he mentioned in the song. Um, that her friends was in her ear saying, you need a new dude. Like, how you beat this man getting shoes? So, he cut the girl off. He said he cut her off, is what he said in the song. And he said, now she see me up, she like, damn, fool. Back in school, I had that man around my hand, fool. Now he famous, having shit, I miss my man, fool. I responded, nah, I'm cool. This ain't nothing like school. I responded, nah, I'm cool. This ain't nothing like school bitch i'm thugging respectfully to all my christians in the back but when god gotta speak through somebody it, it, baby you you gotta you gotta see past all of that you gotta see past that and what god is saying right now in this hour is that it's your time baby <laughs> he's telling me it's it's your time and i'm not the only one because it's reaping season i don't care who you are this reaping season this harvest season, this is the time where you are beginning to reap what you have sown. So if you've been sowing good seeds, such as myself, then you're getting ready to go into a season where God is going to elevate you. You're going to the next level. Like, it's only so long a child is going to play a game and not move to the next level. Like, I watch kids play games and stuff like that all day long. So it's like, God is getting ready to elevate us. I know it seems like you've been on this level for a long time, but God is getting ready to elevate you. You're getting ready to go to the very next level. Like, your steps are being divinely orchestrated by God. So, just know, in due season, you're going to be singing that same tune. You're going to be singing that same tune. Like, I'm, I'm thugging. I'm thugging. That's how I talk to God. <laughs> what? I always tell God, you the biggest. Do they not know you the biggest stepper? Do they not know you the biggest? What? Do you not think God not going to spend for his folks? Hmm. Because he is. Because he is. Man, listen. I responded, nah, I'm cool. This ain't nothing like school. Somebody need to hear that. Somebody need to tell somebody that. Nah, this ain't nothing like school. I ain't nothing like what you used to know. I'm nothing like I used to be. 
I, I don't care that I saw you a week ago. I ain't nothing like I used to be. I don't do what I used to do. And even if I do the same stuff I used to do, and who are we to judge other people in their journey? You don't know how God is working in somebody's life. Stop judging people off of what you think you know about them. I don't care if you family. Stop judging people off of what you think you know. You know nothing. You don't know what God has over that person's life, what he's taking them through to show them. A lot of times we go through things for the end game, for the end goal, for where God is trying to take us to. Stop judging people. Stop judging people, man. For real. Stop judging people. Keep your mouth off of people, especially when you don't know who they are to God. Stop thinking that God don't see what you do in secret because he does. Listen, I'm thugging. I don't know what nobody else doing, but I know what Cam doing. Cam thugging. Y'all thugging with me? Peace.